Hey guys, welcome to Mr. Smith's Kitchen. Brian, Mr. Smith, Kitchen, as always. And today, since you stopped by, and I'm always glad you do, I thought we'd make some cookies. Now, these cookies are incredibly easy, and I couldn't even decide on what type of cookie to do um, because there are so many choices. And uh, I caught this on uh, Instagram, I believe, for a, a, a cookie that, A, it only has four ingredients. Um, you get to choose the flavors. The possibilities are endless. It's something that um, if you're just looking for something quick to make that tastes good and will fill a sweet tooth, or let's say you got grandkids over and they're little and you want to uh, introduce them to baking or something you could bake together or they could bake for you and feel good about it, you know, be successful, I think this will do it. I mean, it, it is so easy. Um, and they're uh, basically a cake cookie. Um, we're going to use a instant cake mix, which most of the time I'm completely against, but after last week with the uh, carrot cake cheesecake, which was phenomenal, it was a lot of work. I need something easy, um, and why not do this? This is something that I can make with Abby, or Abby can make for me, and it, it's almost fail-proof, I think. Um, I actually made some of these on a whim. I, I had a sweet tooth and I remember seeing a video similar to it and then it popped up on my Google feed and I was like, it's like it was calling me. Um, so, but I, I, and I didn't even make the actual recipe that popped up. It was, uh, the one I made was Devil Foods chocolate cake in a box um, with some uh, white chocolate chips. And I thought, wow, these are really good. I have to share these. So what I did was, this time around, we're gonna make some that are red velvet with white chocolate chips. Um, that sounds really good. I also have a couple other boxes to make um, different things with. I got a German chocolate cake, and we'll put peanut butter chocolate or peanut butter chips in it, drizzle some caramel on them. Um, <clears throat> I've got a yellow cake mix downstairs. I'm gonna do milk chocolate chips in, um, and I'll probably find something to drizzle on that, maybe heat up some peanut butter, throw that on top, I don't know. Like I said, possibilities are endless. So anyhow, that being said, if this is your first video, welcome. Uh, it's definitely gonna be a short one. If you're returning or one of their new subscribers, welcome, thank you, um, hands down. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, as always. And uh, comments, always welcome, just be civil. I, you don't have to, to agree with uh, me or anybody in the comments, just be nice, type before you think. Um, that being said, uh, I will give you all our measurements in tablespoons, teaspoons, cups, um, along with grams but like, and milliliters, but like I said, there's really, there's four ingredients, there's not much to give um, in this case. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, head on down to the counter and see what we can get into. All right, hold on for me one second. Okay, so we're down here at the counter, as always. I don't even have a recipe uh, written down. That's just how easy this is. And like I said, four ingredients minimum. Um, well, you could actually do less than that. You could take away whatever it is you want to put in your cookie and just have the cookie itself. But uh, all you'll need is you need one sheet, uh, a full cake, a full pan. Oh my goodness, a full cookie sheet, a in a bowl, and a spoon. That's it, that's it, no more, no less. In the bowl, I have one cake mix. Uh, in this case, it's a red velvet cake mix. To this, I am just simply gonna add two eggs, which I lightly beaten. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump this in there. I'm just literally dumping everything in here. Um, like I said, I haven't done the red velvet yet. All only one I did was a devil, devil's food uh, chocolate cake. I have got, and that was two large eggs, 100 uh, grams. I've got a third of a cup of vegetable oil, which is right around 75 milliliters. We're gonna pour that in. <clears throat> it's almost like the cake mix instructions uh, minus the water. And the last thing I'm gonna put in here is uh, some white chocolate chips. And it's three quarters of a cup, 135 grams of, uh, in this case, white chips. Um, and then we're just going to simply mix this all together and make our cookie dough. All right, so we've got our cookie dough made up. Isn't that crazy? 
you know, normally if it were cake batter, we'd have added the water, it'd have been just enough to turn it into cake batter, which you could still do that with the white chocolate chips. Although I'm not a huge fan of box cakes, not that since I know how to make my own, um, it really kind of takes away. And I, I think a homemade cake tastes better than a box cake. That is my opinion. Although box cakes have their place in the world. So the next thing we need to do is grab a cookie scoop. And I have preheated my oven to 350 degrees. I don't think I said that in the beginning. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees before you start. That way, because it goes quick. And then I've got my cookie sheet here, my full sheet pan, um, with some parchment paper on it. And I'm just using an ice cream scoop. And I, I want about golf ball size uh, uh, balls. And now the, the other ones I did, I made, I actually ended up weighing them out at about 60 grams because you want to get 12 of them. Um, so they're about 60 grams a piece, but if you don't have a scale in this case, because you know this will be the first time I ever say you don't really need one, um, you don't have to have one, but it's about a golf ball size. That's a really big golf ball size uh, cookie. And we're just gonna put them on there. Now to keep your hands from getting all gooky, um, if, if that is uh, something you don't like, you could wear gloves or you could just uh, simply uh, take some uh, spray, some cooking spray and spray them on your hand, spray it on your hands. Here, I'll show you real quick. Hold on for me one second. Spray it on the palm of your hands, rub your hands together like that. And that will actually give you a bit of a barrier on that but that's pretty much all you're gonna do is turn these into golf ball size I had to move it off the uh, oven it's actually warm and it was starting to melt my cookies so we don't want that now do we so I'm gonna go ahead and get these made up and then we can talk about what to do uh, as far as putting them in the oven and how long for okay so <clears throat> got all 12 of them done golf ball size you can see them right there, uh, or about golf ball size. Like I said, about 60 grams if you do have a scale. Um, but you should get 12. And so we're now we're gonna stick them in the oven, just like such. And you wanna put those about two inches apart, you know, all the way around. That's kind of a standard cookie thing. And set the timer. Now, the original recipe that I saw for these, uh, they used a confetti cake, uh, com confetti cake, cake mix, and they put uh, chocolate chunks in it and then put uh, sprinkles on top of it. It was really kind of cool. And, uh, but that, I, I didn't have that when I made the first round, the first batch I ever made. Uh, all I had was devil's food cake in a backup box. So, you know, and it never pay, it never hurts to have a backup box. You never know. Um, it's like having canned goods even when you can your own food. You just never know. Um, so it said 10 to 12 minutes, but I know with my oven it was 13. So I'm going to tell you 10 to 13 minutes in the oven. Uh, you should literally like a cake be able to stick a toothpick in the center of them and it should come out not it, clean of batter. You know, uh, much like it'll have maybe a few crumbs on it like a cake would. And that's pretty much what you're looking for. So when I come back, um, we'll take a look at the cookies and uh, maybe try one. All right, I'll see you here in a second. Okay, so <clears throat> I let these bake for about 13 and a half minutes, 13-ish minutes. Because um, they weren't quite done at 13 minutes, but wasn't quite 14 minutes and they were good. And all I did was, I, like I said, I took a toothpick. Stuck her in the center, pulled her out, and it came out just fine. They were still on the pan. Then what I did after that was I let them sit on the pan for a minute or two, just for everything to calm down a little. Then I stuck them on the rack to uh, cool off. And here, my friends, is what we ended up with, a delightful red velvet cookie um, with white chocolate chips in it. And so now we can try one. Um, like I said, the ones I made with devil food were absolutely delightful. Um, and they turned out just as large. Um, 
they were a little poofier but a lot of that has to do with the cake mix that you uh, use red velvet cakes are usually you know a little on the thin side where a traditional chocolate cake is a little on the th taller side um, so these are just a hair flatter but not by much and they look fantastic so why don't we just try one mm. <laughs> That is good. That is really good. Mm. I wish in a way I would have never seen this video. I am going to weigh 600 pounds. I guarantee it. And you are crooked. I see that. Give me one second there. Me. Even you out a little bit there. There we go. That, if you like red velvet cake and white chocolate chips, that's a cookie for you. But like I said, if you don't like red velvet, try yellow cake, try chocolate cake, try birthday cake, strawberry cake. The world is your oyster with these cookies. I swear. They are quite amazing, but that is amazing. And it took four ingredients. It took all of like five minutes to stir together in a bowl. Another couple minutes to put them into balls. Put them on a pan. Stick them in the oven. 13 minutes later. So in less than 20 minutes, with minimal ingredients, minimal cost, um, you have a delightful cookie. I, said, I could top this with powdered sugar, uh, some icing. I could drizzle some icing on there. There's a million and one things that we can do with these cookies and a million and one ways to make them. Give these a try or give something like it a try. Um, and let me know if you do down in the comments below. Um, you're not going to be disappointed. And like I said, grandkids, kids, young kids, um, or you're new to cooking or, or baking and <clears throat> or you just need something quick. This is for you, you know you'll be successful with it i guarantee it and you'll truly love these cookies um i can think of those you know grandkids or like abby that to allow them to be successful that could lead open up so many doors um yeah if, if you have younger people in your house and they make these and they're successful with it yeah you know, which they will be you know all of a sudden they're going to want to bake more or do some cooking or you know and help them to be more efficient and not rely on the grocery store for cookies or the fast food restaurant for something to eat or dessert. It, this could really open up a lot of doors. Um, you know, and I don't talk much about that, but it could. You know, to be efficient is an important thing. To be self-sufficient is an important thing. Um, but give these a try. Let me know if you do at any rate. Um, you can leave me a comment down below. Uh, hop on Facebook. Find me on there. Um, it, there's a ton of avenues. There's uh, our business page, Mr. Smith's Kitchen. There's Mr. Smith's Kitchen Group. There is uh, just my regular Facebook page. Um, it's not like I'm hiding my name. And it's got a picture of me on it. <clears throat> or Instagram. Um, a few of you found me on Instagram. And I think that's awesome. You know, I, I get to see what you guys bake and are into. And, you know, it gives me a... a and I hope it gives you guys, too, the ones that have uh, jumped on. Or have started following me on Instagram and I've started following back. I, I hope it gives you, too, a sense of community. You know, um, I don't post anything horrible on my on my uh, on any of my stuff. It's mostly just food and inspirational quotes. Um, and I like it that way. Pictures of the family, kids, when we go do something. Um, gardening, things like that. But, anyhow, let me know if you do. Next week, I have no clue. Never do. Um, I kind of like it that way. But if there is ever something you would like to see me try, whether it be cooking or baking, uh, for either night, let me know. And I, and I will do my best to try to get her done. Uh, I... I, I could almost do this five nights a week it would really take away from work but I could um, the pages isn't quite there yet so to speak but anyhow uh, so until next week I love you 
I love you very much, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Tell somebody else that you love them, and that you love them very much. It's gonna make them feel, you know, a thousand times better to hear that. It may be something they need to hear. It's gonna make you feel great to tell them that. You make them some of these cookies, or one that you've created on your own, they're gonna be amazed, you know, and ask for a glass of milk, and then it's gonna lead to conversation. You know, whether it's a friend, a neighbor, somebody you just, you know, met, um, family. You know, you guys can sit around, you and the, your other can sit around and at the table, eat a cup of cookies, have a glass of milk, talk about the day. It'll be awesome. So anyhow, till next week for dinner, I love you. And I'll see you then. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Mm,